talk about it often enough. First of all, Credence wasn't known as a, quote, Southern rock, unquote, band. They were a, a, a classic rock uh, legend, but not really Southern rock. But to me, Credence was as Southern as it got. Swamp music, dude. Swamp mm-hmm. music. Exactly. And that recording that's on the record, it's a live medley. And this kind of gives gives away what we do during our show. Because we do a whole show of medleys like that where we'll mash up three or four greatest hits from my favorite bands and we'll include the Ron Keel original songs, the the Keel, the Steeler, the Black Sabbath, all that stuff. But during the course of the show, we'll pay tribute to some of these bands. We've been doing it live on stage for years. That recording that you hear on South by South Dakota of us doing Born on the Bayou, into Bad Moon Rising, into Fortunate Son, that was recorded at our very first gig ever. The first time me and these guys were ever on stage together. That night, it was August 27th, 2015. And to have that moment in time, our first gig ever, immortalized, recorded, and released to share with the fans, what a great memory and a great track as we it, it, that's what we do live because a lot of times we'll be playing for 20 30,000 people at these big bike events or a state fair or you know, a truck event or these big arena type events where honestly 90% of those people don't know who Ron Keel is they they didn't grow up on it like you did they don't know who I am or what I've done or what I've been through they just want to be entertained so in order to give them what they paid for, and also give them what we want to do. We mix in these medleys, so it's not like cover songs. In fact, some of these songs we did for the first time on this new South by South Dakota album, because usually we're doing these edited medleys, where you'll do a verse and a chorus of Give Me Three Steps, and then you'll do a little bit of Sweet Home Alabama, and then you'll do a little bit of Freebird, and then you get a 12-minute Skinner medley right in the middle of our show. And that Credence medley that you're hearing on South by South Dakota is a perfect example of that. And it fits right in with all of these Southern rock hits and classics that are uh, all over this new album. Now, Ron, when does the album actually become available for purchase? It's available now at ronkeel.com. Ronkeelshop.com is the store. Members at patreon.com slash ronkeel can get a discount on a, a number of different CDs or CD bundles with the shot glass and the T-shirt and the guitar picks and the stickers and all that cool stuff can be found at ronkeel.com. The digital release on iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, all that is May 15th. Okay. So we're just literally, I mean, it's, 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 it's time. Time to spring this thing upon the world and, and share it with everybody. It is unbelievable, and I know I've enjoyed your uh, your past uh, three. Well, it would be the yeah with this one would be like Metal Cowboy. I love that. Uh, I love the uh, Fight Like a Band that you released. And you in uh, I was just uh, was talking to my uh, my co host Jerry the other day uh, about how much I enjoyed um, your autobiography, Life on the uh, you know uh, Even Keel, Life on the Streets of Rock and Roll. Was that a hard oh, was that you. was that a hard thing to do, Ron? To uh, you know expose yourself like that in your life i mean because it was a great read it was thank you so much and that's a great question it was it was difficult and now as i read the audio book back into the microphone because i hadn't read the book since i published it in 2014 and now we're releasing the audiobook version finally so i've got to read that stuff some of it is extremely rewarding and triumphant and brings tears to my eyes and some of it it's difficult. I'm not proud of some of the stuff that I did. I did have to come clean. And, you know, as, as you know, since you've read the book, nobody gets thrown under the bus but me. I don't mm-hmm. talk trash about my ex-wives, my ex-bandmates, Ingve Momstein or Dee Dee or any of these people in my life. I, I take the high road. That's the mm-hmm. mother of my kid, and she's off limits. But I, I took credit or blame for everything that I've done whether it was the drugs or the adultery or, or whatever that I'm not proud of, I, I had to admit it in order to be truthful. I'm not that same guy now. You know, I've grown up. I've evolved, whatever. But, yeah, it, it was difficult. At the time, the, the, the toughest thing was how to address that 17-year marriage. Mm-hmm. The mother of my kids, 
which was extremely dramatic, traumatic, painful, and there's still some pain. There's still some anger. I mean, 20 years later, after the divorce, there's still some some issues, as you can probably tell. As I, 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 I start to open, as I start to bleed out in front of you guys. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, that was tough. How do I handle this? How do I address this 17-year marriage without hurting my kids? Exactly. So I just I just steered away from it, man. You know, she's fair, she's not she's off limits. She's uh, she's the mother of my kids, and I'm not going to go into all the crap that we went through. Or uh, it's 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 private. Uh, so that's how I addressed it in the book. Reading it back now as an audio book is an amazing experience, and I'm really proud of that production project. It's not just me sitting here reading to you. It's uh, got unreleased music and voiceover work from some of the people in my life, like Mark Ferrari from Keel. Brian Slagle from Metal Blade Records. So many people have helped read the book with me, and we're releasing that one chapter at a time on my membership site, patreon.com slash Ron Keel. You can go on there right now and listen to the first 13 chapters. We're almost done with Volume 1. And then when that's finished, we're going to release a two-volume set this Christmas with the sequel, Even Keel, Life on the Streets of Rock and Roll Part 2, which really encompasses the last five years of what I've been through, what I've done. So much of that story can be found in my wife's book, uh, Anything But Pink, on becoming a cancer survivor, which we just published a couple of months ago. And you, Greg, may you and your listeners may or may not know that a few years ago, my wife Renee was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer. And when you get that diagnosis, everything changes all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Life is not the same, and it's never going to be the same. So my focus became taking care of her and being there for her during chemotherapy, radiation treatments, nine surgeries to finally get her cancer-free. And during that time, I did not tour in 2017. I did not. Uh, we did a couple of shows close to home, which were even still difficult because we're She's in the audience wearing a mask. This is three years ago. Mm -hmm. Long before anybody had a surgical mask. Dude, we've got a closet full of them. Wow. Uh, and all of a sudden, I'm in quarantine, Greg. And it, that's exactly what it was like three years ago for us because all of a sudden, I can't leave. And everything's got to be kept spotless and clean. You've got to wash your hands. You've got to clean up every light switch. You've got to clean up every doorknob because those people that are undergoing chemo are extremely susceptible to infection and an infection could be fatal so three years ago long before this pandemic started i was already homebound working from home and quarantined and keeping clean so i built a platform online that's why i keep pushing this patreon thing it was perfect for me in 2017 2018 because i i, and I built a stage in my house where i can entertain you all over the world from right here at home I share that exclusive content, music, audio, videos, fan interaction, merchandise discounts, all this cool stuff that you're going to find on my site for six ninety nine a month. And so I was working from home already. And so that's why this quarantine or lockdown or whatever you want to call it really hasn't affected us too much because we went through it a couple of years ago, man. We've already been here, done that. Ugh. And uh, the opportunity to entertain people from home, write songs, entertain, record, uh, perform shows. I, I was performing on, on the Internet long before any of, <laughs> any of this happened, and I'll be doing it for years to come. And that doesn't mean to say that I don't miss the stage and the sweat and the guys and the lights in my face and the fist pumps and the high fives in the front row and all that. Man, I love that stuff. I can't wait to get back. However... My house is always going to be here, and all of the fans at patreon.com slash Ron Keeler are welcome to come over anytime they want. That's outstanding. Well, Ron, I know that you uh, you don't uh, you know <laughs> stay uh, you know stay uh, I should say stationary very long. You're always very busy. I love this new album. I uh, I'm telling uh, the rock and metal revivalists to go out and check it out. It's called South by Southwest. Get yourself a copy. And Ron, you are always welcome back here at Rock and Metal Revival. 
Thank you so much, Greg. Keep up the good work. I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you and your listeners, and I'm a fan as well. So uh, just keep doing what you're doing, and I'm glad to be a part of the show this, this week. From Once Bitten Acoustic Bites, there's Jack Russell's Great White with Lady Red Light right here on Rock and Metal Revival. And uh, Jack is going to be our guest next week here cool. on Rock and Metal Revival. It'll be nice to have Jack back on the show. And uh, uh, I always love talking to him, man. He's a sh- he's a straight shooter. Yeah, he don't screw d- around. Down to earth, tells you how, how he sees it. Yeah, exactly. And so I'm looking forward to talking to Jack Russell next week. Uh, Ron Keel, big thumbs up, man. Great guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I know. Yeah, and it's like in the new album. Yeah, you know what? When I sent that over to you, I didn't know if you'd dig that or not. I, I really didn't. I used to play a, a bunch of those songs back in the day, man. And that one that we played, the Homesick, that one threw me way off. I was like, because I, I knew that riff. And yeah, Atlanta Rhythm Section. Who knew? Yeah. So uh, <laughs> do back. yourself favor. Do yourself favor. Pick that album up, South by South Dakota, from Ron Keel. Um, and like I said, uh, Jack Russell next week. Week we want to thank Ron Keel for being on the show. Uh, want to you know? Hey, look out, Jim Bob could be part of the show again. Who knows? Uh, until next week, Ooh. as we always say, don't drink and drive, man. Smoke and fly. Peace. This brings to an end another edition of Rock and Metal Revival. If you enjoyed it, tell a friend. If you didn't, tell two. Until next time, this is Rock and Metal Revival. Oh, man. What? I'm so high right now. I have no idea what's going on.